Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add transitions between video clips using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got these various video clips. I've downloaded these video clips from Pixabay. I'll put links to all of these videos in the YouTube description so you can download them as well if you'd like to use them. Let's open up Adobe Premiere and drag and drop these video clips into the media pool here. Let's drag Planet Earth first onto the timeline and then I'm going to hold down the control key and select the other video clips. It doesn't really matter what order these go in, but I would like to have the planet Earth first. Let's drag all of those into here. And we can see some of them have got audio. You can see these little blue boxes below. Those represent audio. We don't really want audio, so I'm just going to select these ones, right click, unlink them, and then select only the audio, and then hit the delete key to delete them. You don't have to do that, but I don't really want any audio in there while I'm doing this tutorial. So the first thing to know is um, if you want to do transitions we need to use the effects options here if you don't see that go to window and then go to effects select effects here and then inside effects you're going to see video transitions and inside video transitions you've got like 3d ones you've got some basic preset ones <clears throat> some typical common sort of transitions that you might use within your video content the first thing i want to show you is how to fade from black so you normally at the beginning of my videos I might have like a black frame and it will fade across into the video clip. To do that, we want to use the dissolve option. So click the dissolve here and you've got an option called dip to black. So when we click that and drag it to the beginning of the first video clip, you'll see it's black frame and when we click play, it will fade into the video clip like this from black to the video clip. And if we um, hold down the alt key, and then use the mouse wheel to zoom right in. We can see things a little bit clearer now. And it's written there, dip, right? And if you double click on that, you can change the duration. So right now it's set to 25 frames and you may want to set it to something like, let's say two seconds, for example, right? As an example, we'll set it to two seconds and then click okay. And now you can see that box is a little bit larger in terms of its width. And when you click play, you can see that transition will take that much longer to, to be applied. So let's just click that and you can actually right click and set duration and maybe we'll set it to something like one second i think will be fine All right so that's just fading to black so that's we can call that a transition it's going from black to the video clip and let's say if we want to add a transition between two video clips because if we if we move here and click play you'll see the planet earth and then all of a sudden it just switches straight to uh this united kingdom sort of uh, uh what's it called um the london eye so we want to do a transition between them so let's say we're going to do cross dissolve or additive dissolve or any of these or there's loads of different ones we're going to experiment with them let's do additive dissolve let's drag that and drag it between the two video clips you'll see it will go green like this you can drag it before and after but we want to drag it in between when we let go um it says insufficient media the transition will contain repeated frames let's just click play and see how that looks i think that's actually okay uh, sometimes there's a couple of frames in there that might get duplicated uh, but i think it's fine it looks fine to me and you can see that type of effect then you've got like cross dissolve so if i drag this and place it here as well that will overwrite that last transition when i click play then it will just kind of cross dissolve across you've got morph cut you've got loads of different ones just make sure you drag in between right in between the clips uh, you've got film dissolve as well let's try that one let's just click play and you'll see these different types of effects depending on which one you drag and drop. You've even got things like page pill, so you can drag a page pill here, and we can go back and click play, and you'll get this page pill effect, right? But I, I tend to like stick with cross dissolve or or some of these more basic ones. Um, there are some other interesting ones in here, like let's see, 3D motion. Let's have a look at. Um, I think there's a good one in here. There's like. Um, these ones here right let's just drag this one here and let's go back and click play you can kind of see this sort of effect there's some interesting ones in there as well that you can experiment with and these all have um uh, assets to them right elements so if you right click on it and set transition duration you can increase that as well so you can set that to a longer timeline so you can set it to like one second click ok and then that transition will be that much longer only if by a few frames but it will just take a little bit longer for that to um, complete that particular transition now um, let's move across the timeline and we'll get to the next video clip 
this one between here and here. You can see the clips are colored differently, so it just makes it easier on your eye to work out what clips are there. And we can just go and experiment with a few other ones. So let's do something like iris box, drag that here, and then we'll just click in between and then click play. And then you get this nice little transition like this. Now I tend to stick to more basic ones, uh, but there's loads of different ones that you can go and experiment with in here. There's, there's wipes as well, like a band wipe. Let's just click and play here. And you can see as I'm dragging them, they will just literally overwrite the last transition that was used. So if we click play here, we can kind of get these sort of paint splatters. And you can actually go to the internet. You can go and buy different transitions, right? You can go and buy some um, if you want to use them. But you need to know how to use them. So when you buy them, it will be nice that you know how to actually use these as well. So let's try a few others before we finish this tutorial. Let's just minimize this. Let's go back to, um, let's have a look at the zoom. Let's do a cross zoom. Let's try that one. And uh, let's click play here. You kind of got this zoom effect, right? Um, I did a tutorial recently showing you how to do this in more of a sort of controlled method, you could say. So if you check my YouTube channel, uh, you'll see there's a tutorial I made on how to do this sort of cross sort of zoom effect. Uh, transition but doing it in a slightly different way using some manual controls right uh, and you have a lot more control over it using the other method but if you just want a simple zoom sort of uh, transition then this is a nice easy way to do that and achieve that and again you can right click and if you click clear you can actually remove a transition so if I go back and click play now it'll just flip between you may just want that sort of jump cut like that um, or you may want to uh, do something a bit more interesting like a light leak something like this if we go back and click play then you get these sort of light effects which are quite interesting as well so it's really down to your own preferences what you want to do I think we've got one more clip here so let's just try one more let's do something like um, I think we did page pill I don't think we did a wipe let's try something like um, Venetian blinds right that's a pretty standard one and then we'll click play and you've got these sort of Venetian blind sort of style, right? And you can actually create a lot of these manually yourself. But remember, these ones are just sort of drag and drop um, transitions. So at the end of the video clip, normally I, f I dip to black or fade to black. Sometimes it's called fade to black. Uh, we can do that in dissolve and then we can click dip to black and drag that to the end of the video clip. And when we click play, it will fade out to black. So that's how I go about using transitions in Adobe Premiere. It's very easy, just drag and drop them in um, and you're pretty much done, right? A lot of the hard work is done for you and I tend to use the dip to black at the beginning and at the end, depending on uh, what sort of content I'm making, right? So let's go ahead and minimize this. That's how you go about adding transitions between video clips and also dip to black at the beginning and at the end of video clips using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.